Right then, this is a walk around video, and this is for a low mileage Honda CRV 2.2 EX diesel. Uh, it's covered just 41,000 miles, uh, 14 plate cars you can see, finished in this lovely urban titanium colour, which looks far better in the flesh than it does when I try and photograph them, especially in different lights. It's a very rich colour. The front of the car is really good, lights and lenses are clear, intact, no cracks, no condensation. Um, bonnet extremely clean, you can see any obvious stone chips in there at all. Near side of the vehicle, wonderfully smooth in the panel work, again you can see any indentations at all. Come around the back of the car, bumper corners, very very clean indeed. Back of the car, no horrible sort of scab or scratch marks on the bumper there. Um, offside, driver's side, again, really clean in the panels, can't see any say, clear indentations there at all. And the remaining panels are very, very clean indeed. And final wheel, again, all very nice. A minute is in really lovely condition for this kind of six, seven year old car. Notwithstanding, there will be the odd sort of light little mark um, which you'd expect to see on any car. Let's come to the back of the car now. Huge boots on the, the car and it's in absolutely beautiful condition back here. It's coming into the back, wide opening rear doors, enormous amounts of leg room in the back here and those front seats are set for me. And I'm over six foot tall, so hardly cheating. But and the leather work is in really, really good condition. So passenger side on the front, again, all very, very clean and tidy. Finally, come to the driver's door card. Again, absolutely beautiful condition. Likewise, footwell areas, really clean. And the driver's seat itself, the one that takes all the wear, exhibits virtually nothing at all. Inside the car now, engine's running through this section, so the dash can be seen illuminated which is in really lovely condition. Sat nav, you can see they're working exactly as it should. That also doubles up as a, um, you can play films through the, the, the CD drive. Obviously you need to be stationary with the handbrake onto that quite clearly. Uh, pop the car into reverse. Into a lovely clear gridded parking camera which complements the uh, front and rear parking sensors. So it's in very, very nice condition. And dashboard binnacle, 41,029 miles. Uh, no warning lights on the car at all whilst the engine's running. Uh, it really is a very, very, very nice car in here. Right then, this is a quick road test video and this is for a Honda CRV 2.2 EX diesel. This particular car is registered SW14 VHV and mileage is just 41,023 miles. The reason we do these videos is, as I always say, very simple indeed. It's so that if anyone is looking at the cars we advertised online, they actually get to see the very car they're looking at in operation. Um, and the reason for that is very simple. We just want to make absolutely certain that anyone gets to see the cars, as I said, working, but if there's any issues, that they get to know about it before they come to us. Um, and that's really important because we know just how frustrating it can be to go and see a car which can look perfectly good in the description and photographs provided but when you get there find out it's got a fundamental issue that shows up whilst you're driving the car so that's why we do it it's also done on these very quiet country roads uh, very close to our premises which actually forms part of the road test route we take customers on and the reason for that is hopefully then this video will be representative of what you'd feel yourself should be offered a test drive from the car when you get here so coming to the car itself, as you'd expect from any Honda car, press the button on these EX models and the engine starts absolutely instantly and settles to completely smooth, even idle. Uh, no warning lights on the dashboard at all relating to the engine or any other part of the car and temperature gauge running at a third, which is exactly where it's meant to be on a Honda vehicle and it's been running for some time now, so all exactly as you'd expect. 
Uh, the engines are absolutely brilliant, brilliant diesel engines. They are so, so smooth and refined. Um, only really kind of noticeably a diesel when you're at very low revs in terms of kind of low gears, like first and second gear. But even then it's, it's smoother than most. When you're up into third, fourth, fifth and sixth, you might as well be bike driving a petrol engine other than the fact that you've got, you know, wonderful um, acceleration from very low revs. But unlike some diesels which give that initial charge and then tail off very quickly, these keep going and very, very, very smoothly indeed. And so it's you know, one of the best diesel engines ever made. Um, in terms of, it's also got a cam chain, no cam belt, so no major service looming. And they have a reputation for reliability and longevity, which is absolutely unmatched in its class. It's a, it's a, a sensational unit. Um, engine then feeds through into clutch and gearbox. Uh, clutch on the car, absolutely perfect. Bike point is exactly where it's meant to be in the travel, and it's lovely and smooth in operation. Uh, the gearbox is simply brilliant. Um, I'm just going to go past this shop a second. So the gearbox is just fantastic. It's, it's unlike so many SUVs which seem to have kind of ponderous truck-like gearboxes. This is short and throw. It's really snappy. It's beautifully weighted in terms of how it operates. It's uh, just such a class act. And you know, as I always say, I mean, it'd happily go in any of Honda's, even more sporty cars. It's, it's that good. And that feels exactly as it would have done when it was new because it just it shows nowhere at all. Steering the car, again, very nicely done because it's beautifully weighted. Um, it tracks dead straight. There's no vibrations at all at this speed or any speed up to the legal limit. Um, but it's, it's, you know, because again, it's not a sports car, but when you go through corners like the one up here, you don't have to move the steering wheel um, very much. It's nicely weighted and geared, so just minimal movement to turn in. It does so precisely and it follows its line absolutely faithfully. Um, the chassis, as you'll see, you know, it goes to corners really well. It, you know, body control is really good. There's not a huge amount of body motion going on, even though it's an upright and tall car. And again, that's in contrast to other manufacturers who go, go for kind of a soft, pillowy ride, but at the expense of um, body control through the corners, which could be particularly nauseating for back street, uh, backseat passengers, rather. Um, what I'm looking for on these road tests also, by the way, is just any signs of any kind of noises coming from underneath the vehicle that shouldn't be there, sort of clonks, rattles or otherwise, and there's absolutely nothing at all. It's, um, it's you know, silent in that respect. Uh, worth pointing out, it's going to be going, hopefully later today, for an independent MOT, so all these things are going to be checked anyway. Just going to go ahead and just give the brakes a bit of a shove, make sure no one's directly behind me. Uh, just give them a good old bang, but basically hard on the brakes, just good initial bite. There's no kind of pulsing or vibrations coming back through the brake pedals, which is a good sign, of course. Um, so, all good in that respect. Crikey, it's three degrees outside. You'd never believe that. It's meant to be spring. So, that's just the little thing telling me. Um, Coming inside the car, as always with CRVs, it seems, it's just a beautifully put together machine. Um, absolutely no squeaks or rattles at all. And we're looking at a seven year old car now. Um, and this is, as I just said in another video I've just done for a CRV, and this is real build quality, just how well they stay built, not, not you know whether they're well built when they're first made, because most cars are these days. Um, but it's the, that durability that Hondas have absolutely nailed down. And it's a lovely dashboard to use. It's you know very highly equipped, but just so simple to operate. You've got a lovely big sat-nav screen there, all working perfectly. You've got a dual zone climate control system, which allows you different temperatures side to side. Um, again, all working exactly as it should. And that pumps out lovely cold air because we checked it in a nice warm workshop earlier on today. Um, Switch gear quality has got that lovely, lovely, lovely sort of rubbery click-click action to it. Um, it just feels really fantastic. 
to operate you just know that the buttons are going to feel like that in you know hundreds of thousands of miles time because you know honda put a lot of effort into even the smallest details like that uh, heated seats again work exactly as they should they've been checked as well dashboard binnacle simple easy legible dials um not too much information going on there all you need and no more and i love that because too many dashboards are just or binnacles particularly are just over fussy these days but honda have done a really fantastic job with that the steering wheel small end diameter feels absolutely fantastic in hand it really does um, and again just feels like new to hold in all honesty this is a four-wheel drive version of the crv um, honda worked out straight away when they were designing the crvs back in the sort of mid 90s that most people would be driving them in perfectly good conditions and didn't need four-wheel drive constantly wearing away so basically it does it all for you um, should your front wheel start to lose grip it instantly brings in the rear wheels to give you four-wheel drive uh, and it's seamless in the way it act activates i have a crv we tow a caravan and we're going to cross some really horrible muddy pictures and we've never come close to getting stuck in fact we've helped pull people out who have been and that's honestly the truth um, so it's, it's a wonderfully um, designed system and the design also means because it's basically running front wheel drive most of the time that unlike permanent four wheel drive systems um, you're not going to get through your tyres as quickly um, it puts far less mechanical stress to the vehicle uh, by obvious reasons and it's going to use less fuel because uh, of less frictional losses there uh, but it is a wonderful system and its lack of use gives it its reliability as well because we've been selling Hondas using this system for over three decades now and never so much has put a spanner on any of them so it is incredibly tough as I said at the start of the video the point it's only brief is just to show the car in operation um, but to feedback on any issues there might or might not be and there's nothing at all it drives absolutely beautifully it's tight as a drum this car um, I've said that, if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call.